And for the Mavericks, one victory and four defeats. They've lost four consecutive, and they get a three ball to bank on in. Final minutes of the big Villanova win as they took the Hall of Fame tip off against the then fifth ranked Villanova Wildcats. But he wanted, uh, he liked the way they fed the post, and they certainly have started out that way. Now they go outside. Uh, saved by Broham into the hands of the Boilermakers. Here is Jaden Ivey, and a three ball, count it. A three ball, nothing but net for Stepanovich. Ethan Morton, he's playing up top. Here is Williams as he goes to work. Nice spin, and the finish for Travion Williams. 29-0 is the run right now for Purdue. Incredible stuff. Omaha's made one of 13 field goal attempts. That's 8%. And finally, well. an answer there for Marco Smith. Fitting right in with a Purdue team that right now looking to improve that free throw. Pretends are fifth for the Big Ten at about 74%. Shot clock winding down. And it's a block by Edie. Rejecting Juan Yang Tut. And they have a lineup. And Coach Painter not shy about it. Up and down. They have a number of guys coming off that bench. Easily looks to be starters at a different program. As you see that put back there by Jaden Ivey. This is a Mavericks team that's been shooting only around 31% from three-point range in their first five games. Williams going to work. Nice find. And the two-hand jam for Caleb first. That from Coach Painter coming in that threw five games, but he said defensively, we're not a real good defensive team right now. I'll tell you what, they're making life miserable on the inside. There's been no inside for the Mavericks. That jumper rolls in for Brandon Newman. Nearing 90 seconds left here in this first half. Just joining us, it was 3-2 at one point in favor. Omaha, there's a two-hand jam for Darius Hughes. Community College before making it home at Omaha. Some of the old timers might remember his dad, Lou Rowe, played at Massachusetts back in the day with Marcus Camby. We look at Ivy, almost about four or five points better. You see the two hand jam for Zach Eady. Great catch, great move with the left hand of the dunk. For the Boilermakers, they've scored 24 points in the paint. They have scored 24 points off three-pointers. And the lob and the two-hand flush for Travion Williams. He is senior year in high school in which he missed with a, a knee injury suffered on his junior campaign. Inside Williams with the one-hand jam, able to slam it over Devin Evans. Williams gonna step up. Uses the glass as he got to step up on Juan Ying Tut. December 9th, the first couple of Big Ten matchups for Purdue. Thompson all the way to the cup and the foul. Logged by the Mavericks this year in that same boat, but the three ball coming up short here for Brandon Newman. They lost their three top scores. Tough angle, scored plus the foul for Mason Gillis. Well, Purdue's kept it going in the second half. They've outscored UNO 25 to 11 in the second frame. And still north at 60%. Oh, Look my out. goodness! A reverse one-hand jam for Travion Williams. After he had scored in double figures each of the first three for the Mavericks, they've been a spark off that bench. Become one of the leaders, more vocal this year as Hughes skips over the rim. And Boilermaker offense continues to roll toward that 90 and perhaps 100 mark. Nice fight inside, dumped off with Darius Hughes. Omaha is now four of 24 from three-point range, but the Mavericks are gonna keep plugging. They're gonna keep shooting them. Wow, look at that move by Williams. How did he finish? Take that back, he's in right now. He's out there right now. 89-35. He gets the pass on the inside from Hunter Jr. and he'll turn and slam it. Look at that clock, 4.45 wow. to go here in this second half. Ivy, how did he hit that shot? It's going to be another great season for Matt Painter and the Boilers. Following the takeaway, down the lane, Tuck can't finish with the putback there. Their high's been 96 on two occasions against still new to Division One Bellarmine, also at 96 against Wright State. How about that finish and the foul for Carson Barrett? Up in Connecticut, nice lead feed for the. Second chance there for Frost. See the bench erupting. Opportunity here, scored plus the foul for Chase Martin. Omaha will up the uh, clock 
took away a complete team effort, and Purdue is going to come away with the the victory. The final score is 97 to 40.